Hello and welcome to this tutorial video where I'll walk you through setting up an independent S3 bucket on AWS for configuring backups for an Everest cluster. With Percona Everest you can easily set up backup schedules for your databases, create on-demand backups, perform point-in-time restores, easily restore existing databases, or generate new ones from backups. To configure backups, we'll first need to add an S3 compatible storage location in the settings. Here's how. Navigate to the AWS console and access the S3 buckets section. Click on the create bucket, select a region, and set a name for the bucket. Access the details of the created bucket. Set up the credentials and permissions for the user so that Percona Everest can access the bucket via the API. Let's open an IAM service where you can create a new user or use a previously created one for testing. In the Permissions section, click Add Permissions. We can add new permissions for the user directly or through the group the user is associated with. I prefer to add them directly. Search for Amazon S3 Full Access and add it. Verify that the user has access to S3 buckets. Under Security Credentials, you can create a new API key or use an existing one. Go back to Percona Everest, navigate to Settings, and add a new backup storage. You can see an example on the screen. I have added the storage to US East 1. Great, the backup storage has been added. Now let's enable backups in our database cluster. Open the cluster settings for editing. We don't need to scale the cluster right now, so let's skip the first steps. I have enabled scheduled backups in the backup section. I have also turned on point in time recovery for the ability to restore to specific points in time. Let's save the new settings. On the database page, we can create a backup manually or edit a scheduled backup. We encourage you to explore and test the backup functionality and share your feedback with us on our forum. Here we can also restore or create a new database from backups. Thank you for watching and goodbye.